As a versus debater, you're bound to have people who disagree with your outcome. Some of them will have a very well-constructed argument that you can actually debate against. Another one will just pull up stuff that breaks your rules that you have for the show. And there will be the people that call you biased. But what they don't realize is that you have to end up killing some of your own favorites, too. So how could you possibly be biased? And that's what we're doing today. The fictional fights episodes that would have been different if I decided the outcome by who I liked more. The first one is Rayman versus Spyro. Ah, uh, Rayman, how I love him. He's a good character. He's crazy, wacky, goofy. But Spyro is like my entire PlayStation 1 childhood next to Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> so I have beaten in 100% the original Spyro trilogy so many times that I can't even count. Like Crash and Spyro were the two games I played insanely as a kid. <laughs> I played them so much that the discs actually wore out and broke, like both of them. I remember one day, like very clearly one day, like the disc wasn't working for Crash Bandicoot, so I took it to my mom, I like tried cleaning it myself, and I took it to my mom and I asked her if she could clean it like with maybe a wet paper towel or something to get dirt off for it. I don't know, because I couldn't see any dirt, I'm half blind. So she was like, okay, so she wiped it for like two seconds and then I heard a snap, and then my little four-year-old mind or five-year-old mind was like, huh, what was that? And she's like, oh, nothing, nothing, nothing. Luckily, she was able to keep the secret from me <laughs> because we had actually bought the same game to give as a birthday gift for my friend the next week. So she just gave me the birthday gift one back. And she's like, there, I cleaned it. <laughs> and she went out to buy a different copy of the game. And at the time, I didn't know any different. I thought she'd just clean the game and it was just working again. But... I realized it, like, later, after seeing the disc snapped in half in the trash can. <laughs> so, yeah. Fun, nostalgic memories of Spyro and Crash. But, yeah, Spyro would have won here if I was biased. Next fight. Danny Phantom versus Jake Long. This might sound odd because of how hard I defended my choice for this one. And it's actually because people were using the bias argument. I'm like, I'm not biased. Jake wins because of this, this, and this. And honestly, I really still do. Like, I'm not afraid to admit I was wrong. Goku versus Saitama was wrong. Uh, um, Steven versus Dipper is wrong now. But this one I stand by because I really do feel like it was right. Jake has shown superior feats, and Danny doesn't get a pass just because he's a ghost. Especially since Jake can hit ghosts. And yeah, Danny has fought dragons before, like large dragons. But those dragons are mindless monster-like dragons. Jake is a dragon with tons of experience against magical creatures who knows martial arts, and he has the properties to hit ghosts because of his magic nature. It's It just seems logical to me. Like, the ghost Danny fights are either monstrous dragons with no mind of their own that could be taken down easily through normal methods that wouldn't trick Jake, or, of course, the amulet thing that I mentioned that Jake doesn't rely on for his powers. Jake doesn't need an amulet that Danny can steal, so he'd have no way of taking away Jake's powers and all that. But I do like Danny Phantom overall way more as a show. I, I don't like the Danny Sam stuff because it's generic, but all the ghost fighting stuff, I like all the unique enemies, I like all the side characters, all the villains. Vlad Plasmius is so cool, I might have to use him someday in a fight. He's one of my favorite, not just cartoon villains, but villains in general. Vlad Plasmius is so amazing. Ah. Oh. But I remember watching Danny Phantom all the time. I binge watch it with my sister all the time, even though we've already seen the entire series a million times. Me and my sister binge watch it together because it's our favorite Nickelodeon show. Like, we both like Avatar too, but for some reason, Danny Phantom just seems to be our favorite even more. So, yeah, Danny versus Jake definitely would have been different. Next up, Krillin versus Hihachi. Isn't this obvious? I love Dragon Ball, but come on, it's Tekken. And Hihachi is like my second main behind Jin. Hihachi, dude. Hihachi, he catches bullets with his teeth. He fights Akuma from Street Fighter. Like, come on. I... How could I not have Hihachi win if I was biased? <laughs> dude, Hihachi would have wrecked Krillin. Uh, so no explanation there needed. Next up, Saitama versus Goku. Yes, I was caught up in One Punch Man hype at the time. And this was the biggest mistake I've ever made in a verse, as a versus debater. Let me just say it now. I love Goku so much, but that One Punch Man hype, it just nailed me. It was like, 
Well, it's part of Saitama's character that he wins fight effortlessly. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. That doesn't work in versus debates. That's that's not logic you should use in versus debates. Don't don't give in to hype, people. It is not good. No. No. So after that, the next one that would have been different if I was biased is Epo versus Little Mac. Yeah, the one right after it. I was just going against myself at the time. <laughs> uh but yes, Little Mac would have won if I was biased, because I've beaten like all the Punch-Out games so many times again. I just love playing them, and Epo, it was an anime I watched a while back and I quite enjoyed. And then I watched it again, just, you know, for the research of the actual thing. But, I haven't watched it since. Because <laughs> I really do like Epo a lot, but... I don't know, it just doesn't have a lot of staying power with me. Like, I watch it every once in a while, but it's not something I would like just intensely watch, like, again and again. Like, unlike Punch-Out. I, pl I played Punch-Out last week, actually. <laughs> I love the Wii game of Punch-Out. I still cannot get, like, th all the challenges on Donkey Kong. I'm still working on that furiously. But I'll, I'll get there eventually. I will. I will. I will. But yeah. And plus, Little Mac's one of my mains in Super Smash Brothers. I just love Little Mac so much. He's one of my favorite video game characters of all time. So yeah, that one would have been different if I was biased. <clears throat> Next up, Pit versus Kazuya. Yep, of course. I mean, Kazuya is definitely not my favorite Tekken character. I find him kind of overrated, but it's still a Tekken character. I mean, I love playing as all the Mishimas in Tekken, even if Kazuya is my least favorite. Like, I like Jinpachi more than Kazuya. I like um, Kazumi so far more than Kazuya. But he's still a Tekken character, and the Tekken fanboy in me wants to say that he would win, but he doesn't. Pit stomps him easily, because <laughs> he's just magical and angelic and light arrows and pew pew, and Kazuya's dead. So yeah, Kaz uh, Pit solos Kazuya, pretty much. Which, yeah. Next episode. Oh boy. Nobody is going to believe this. No. <laughs> Even the people, even the people who agree with me are not going to believe this. But, the Scout versus Tracer would have been different if I was biased. Ah, uh, you don't understand. I, you know, I like TF2, but Scout is not my main class. That has to be like NG and, uh, uh, um, 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 um Soldier. And Medic, those are all my main classes, and Spy especially. Spy is my number one main class in TF2. But Scout isn't even in my top five main classes, so... Yeah, I mean, I like TF2 a lot, I play it a lot, but Scout is definitely not up there for me in TF2. Overwatch, however, Tracer alone, her character alone, got me to want to play Overwatch so bad, and I was so obsessed with Tracer at the time. Like, you... Go ask people on my community, like... As soon as Tracer was like in the hype moment, I was like, guys, guys, Tracer's waifu. I should have Tracer fight someone. And it was actually my own community that decided she would fight Scout. Like I was like, who should Tracer fight? Help me find an opponent for Tracer. And people were like, Scout, Scout, Scout. So it actually wasn't my decision to do Scout versus Tracer. Everyone suggested it. And I was like, who should Tracer's opponent be? And actually, the community actually did chip in on the research. But, of course, by the time I had learned from my mistakes with Saitama vs. Goku, and I knew not to give in to hype, so, while I was so excited and so wanting Tracer to win, because I was like, future technology, whoop de doo Tracer is more advanced, it has future technology, she wins, right? But then when I did the actual research myself, Scout curb stomped her, and I was like, oh. So that's kind of why I get peeved at the, Oh, Tracer has advanced technology and it's futuristic. That's why she wins. That's why I get so peeved at that argument because that just means that the people's trying to say Tracer's win when they haven't even done their research. Because that's the argument that people use when they haven't even done research on the fight is, Oh, Tracer's more advanced. But they forget that Team Fortress 2 has super missile launching sentry guns. They have healing guns that defy all laws of physics. So you can't tell me that TF2 isn't advanced. Like, they have all the laser stuff from the invasion update. A uh, soldier with this cow mangler, cow mangler that incinerates people with lasers. So, you cannot tell me that TF2 isn't advanced and futuristic. So, Overwatch being, you know, oh, high tech advanced technology, whoop-de-doo, is not an excuse for Tracer winning. 
But yeah, I do really love Tracer as a character way more than I love Scout as a character, but Scout wins. And I've been more defensive of this argument because of Death Battle. That's the only reason why I've been like super duper duper defensive about this argument. Because it's TF2 over Overwatch. It's not going to last long. It's going to be very dated. Because I really don't feel like Overwatch is going to last quite as long as TF2. Like not even close. Because TF2 have, has stood the test of time, yada da. I know MatPat said that in his... Or one of the people had said it in MatPat's deadlocked. I know people are like that. People are going to be like, oh, MatPat. But no, I do not agree with that deadlock. That deadlock was terrible. But TF2 has shown to stay in the test of time, and I really don't think Overwatch is going to do the same with how it's going. But yeah, that one would have been different if I was biased, believe it or not, but it's true. <clears throat> Next one. Zim versus Karo. We're skipping ahead a couple fights past Aang versus Poe and Master Roshi versus Jirai because those weren't biased. Those wouldn't have been different if I was biased. But Zim versus Karo. Now that would have been different if I was biased. Because... I love Karo a lot more. It's my second favorite anime of all time behind Naruto. <clears throat> and I I like Zim a lot too. I have he has a lot of nostalgia with me because I watch Nickelodeon a lot, but Karo I just like a lot more because his series just has a lot more to offer. It's bigger and I find it a lot funnier. I mean, I love dark humor a lot, so Zim would normally be one I die to see like every single day of my life. <laughs> but I just find it as sort of like that hot topic thing, like stuff you grow out of once you move out of your scene kid hot topic phase. Like Zim is the cartoon you'd watch while eating pizza bagels uh, uh, after playing a quick round of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 while wearing your Black Veil Brides t-shirt and your dyed hair with blood on the dance floor playing in the background. That's, that's the kind of thing you'd watch Zim. That's the kind of person you'd be if you watch Zim pretty much. And... I've grown out of that phase, thank goodness. And I just like Kara a lot more. It just fits more demographics than the, than the hot topic scene kid phase stuff like Zim does. So yeah. Oh, don't worry. This won't spoil the upcoming fights. Let's look at this. Buzz versus Star Fox. I'm not going to tell you who I want to win or who is winning, but I will just say that it definitely would have been different if I was biased. But this isn't a spoiler because you have no idea who I was rooting for. Clap, clap, clap. Jin versus Sasuke. It's impossible for this upcoming one to be biased because I love both these characters equally, but I will say that it definitely came out way different than I expected. It was really weird. 